Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. Today we're going to talk about deer hunting and salt blocks and how you'll never have to buy another one again, or at least not every year. So salt blocks, mineral blocks, are something that hunters use on a pretty regular basis every year when they're hunting on their land or on other people's lands. And they come out, they put these salt blocks out, these mineral blocks, and deer get to know those areas and they come out on a pretty regular basis for those minerals and that salt. Well, I learned a trick a couple years ago where if you cut down a tree and you put it over a tree stump, what that salt does is that it eventually gets used up, uh, rains come, and that salt kind of just basically melts into that tree stump and that tree stump becomes a giant salt block and it keeps you from ever having to buy a salt block until that tree stump has been completely eaten away and the the deer will come in bear squirrels you name it all kinds of animals will come in throughout the day and night and they will eat on that that tree stump and they'll whittle it away and it'll take them years to do it if you especially if you choose a hardwood like a white oak but what today we're going to do is we're going to cut down a tree i'm going to put a new mineral block over a tree i'm going to show you a couple different mineral mineral blocks that i use and i'm going to show you a tree stump right now uh, that i've been using for the last couple years this is a white oak tree stump i put a mineral block on this over a year ago and the salt block the mineral block is long gone okay <laughs> went away pretty fast and the deer were coming into that pretty heavy but what we have here now is a tree stump that's just inundated with salt and minerals. And even taking your finger and rubbing your finger on that, it tastes salty, just the entire stump. And as you can see, it's been whittled away. The deer come in here on a really regular basis. I have deer cams up and the deer, ca deer cams are catching the deer coming in here. And not just deer, but other animals like bear, squirrels, any animal that wants salt, which is every animal, <laughs> is gonna come into this and chew it and it's gonna bring them in on a pretty regular basis. So here's a close up of this tree stump. Again, white oak, you can see they're into the heartwood here and they're just chewing that to pieces, coming in with their teeth and, and scraping it and licking it just all over chewing. And most of the sapwood is all gone out of this. And you can see the insects too are loving this, ants. Um, but they're coming in here and now they're starting to get into the heartwood and the outer edges of it. But again, you just, I mean, this, all of this stuff right here, that's the salt. You see that? And this, this salt block was gone over a year ago. And uh, that's all salt right there. And if you lick, you lick your finger, rub your finger on that and lick it, or just any part of it, all the way down to here. I mean, they're chewing on this too, the root structure. That's just going to be salt content for them for years to come. All salt and minerals. And yeah, it's just an amazing amazing way to draw in deer without having to buy salt blocks every year. So there's a couple other benefits to doing this. Number one, in my state, it's not illegal to hunt over bait. So uh, we, I put out, in fact, you can see right back there, there's a feeder made out of PVC pipe, just easy PVC, PVC pipe feeder. I'll try to show that later in the video. But, so it's legal for me to do that. I can hunt over bait in my state. A lot of you guys cannot. So, uh, it, you know, and that includes mineral blocks for some of you guys. So if you, you get a tree where you can cut down a tree, you put a mineral block out there one year, it dissolves into the tree, the tree stump, and now you have basically a tree that becomes the bait. And technically, I don't see how that would be hunting over bait uh, because any uh, conservation officer coming out is not going to see it that way. Uh, he wants to see people, he's out to catch people who are putting corn or other types of baits down uh, where people hunt over that. Uh, but a tree, if a tree becomes your bait, <laughs> I think you can get by with that. So that's an added benefit to those of you guys who cannot hunt over bait. There's another very important benefit to this. I've done videos before in the past where um, I talk about CWD. And chronic wasting disease is a big issue for a lot of people in a lot of states right now. I own sheep. And sheep and goat are a ruminant animal. And for ruminant animals, there's one rule, one major rule for ruminant animals like sheep and goats, and that's to keep your food source off the ground. By keeping food on the ground for sheep and goats, what they do is they pick up a lot of parasites. Deer are also a ruminant animal. And so because of that, if you put bait 
on the ground, salt blocks on the ground, they will eat out a two foot by two foot deep section, sometimes after it's all said and done, of dirt. And the prions that cause CWD are in that dirt. When a tree stump gets eaten like that, guys, all that is is cellulose. There's no prions in that. And so you're actually creating a better and healthier deer herd by keeping your food off the ground. People who put bait on the ground just willy-nilly throw it everywhere and they eat that dirt to get to that bait or that salt. What you're doing is you're forcing those deer to ingest the prions because they're going to come after those minerals and salt. They love it. It's a, it's a big draw for them. But to do that, you're actually making them eat the dirt, which is ingesting the prions, which could be spreading chronic wasting disease. So doing something like this, you're actually being a true conservationist and creating a healthier deer herd. You may be saying, well, Zach, deer eat acorns. That's on the ground. But they're not eating the dirt. When deer come by and they eat around here, acorns, persimmons, things like that, they're just picking them off the ground and then eating them. Eating the dirt is completely different. And if, when you put a salt block on the dirt, uh, that salt absorbs into the dirt and they will eat a giant hole into that ground. And if there's prions for chronic wasting disease in that dirt, they will ingest those prions and they will eventually succumb to chronic wasting disease. So for those of you who wanted to see my deer feeder, a friend of mine uh, gave me a really good idea of how to create a very cheap and effective deer feeder. I've been using this now for years over different places on the property. Um, basically, this is just PVC. It costs you less than about maybe 20 bucks at the hardware store to put it all together. Maybe a little more or less than 20 bucks, depending on the prices of your of your hardware store where you live. But uh, how this is made is very simple. There's a Y piece right here. There's a cap down at the bottom with holes drilled into it so water can drain out easily. And there's a cap at the top. And all I need to do is go ahead and undo this piece of 550 cord that I have here. And then I bend this down. This whole thing will tilt because it pivots on this cargo strap that I have it tied to where, the, where it's connected to the tree. And this whole thing tilts. I remove the cap, fill it with corn, and need to fill it up, you know, depending on how hard the deer are hitting it, uh, once every few days to once every week or so. But uh, very inexpensive deer feeder. Uh, if a bear finds this, they will usually tear it up. Uh, I've actually had one destroyed by a bear uh, that came by. And so, I mean, they're not going, I mean, but any deer feeder that uh, a bear gets a hold of, he's going to destroy. So would you rather him destroy a $20 deer feeder or would you rather him destroy a $200 deer feeder? It's up to you. So what we're going to do next is cut down another tree that's in the same area. There's my stump right there. I'm going to cut this tree down right here and put another mineral block on it to just increase the attraction of the area to deer. We already get a lot of deer movement in this area. They already know the area very well. I think they're going to very much appreciate if I put yet another mineral stump, you know, where they congregate. So let's do that now. But I just noticed that it's hollow in there. Uh, I don't think anything's living in there because I don't see a way in up top. So but anyway, we'll go ahead and tumble this over. Well, I'm a victim of circumstance. Uh, that tree is definitely hollow and uh, it's not going to make a very good salt block. So I'm gonna have to pick a different one. Uh, I'll just let this one fall down. It'll, it got caught on a few small trees over there. So, man, I was kind of hoping that was gonna be a good one. Well, the tree's not as big as the one I wanted to cut down, but it's not hollow and it's a good size, it'll work. Now you go on to choose which kind of block you're gonna put on here. Is it gonna be just a regular salt block or mineral block? I choose mineral blocks because I believe there's just more inside those blocks to help draw in the deer. Uh, they prefer those minerals. Uh, but then which one do you get? You can get these regular mineral blocks that you can get at your local feed store, or you can get these, what they're called trophy rocks. I prefer the trophy rocks. Uh, what do you prefer? You can leave a comment below and let me know what you think. But uh, the trophy rocks are definitely going to be more expensive for sure. These are only, I don't know, I think I paid like six or seven dollars for this one at a local feed store. Uh, this is also I picked up at a local feed store. I think it cost like sixteen dollars. Uh, but I used a, a trophy rock on the last stump and um, I think it did a pretty good job of putting a lot of minerals and salt content inside that stump. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the trophy rock 
for this stump here and uh, I'll use the, uh, this other mineral block somewhere else. Uh, but let me know again what you think. These mineral blocks are uh, basically just blocks that they've taken out of a salt mine somewhere uh, in its raw form. It hasn't been processed at all. Uh, very salty. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, it's pretty good. <laughs> so, um, uh, you know, let me know what you think in the comments below. We're going to go ahead and go with the trophy rock. And that's it. It'll sit on here. It, the deer will come in. They'll lick it. And over time, when the, when the rains come, it's going to basically dissolve into the stump. And this tree stump will draw the deer in for years, saving you a bunch of money on future mineral blocks that you could pick up every year. And now you have a tree stump that's going to work as a magnet to those deer for years to come. All right, so what'd you think of the video? Leave a comment, leave a like. Like if you, if you subscribe to the video, if you like this video, there's lots of other videos you can check out. Also check us out over at patreon.com slash an American homestead where you can support the channel. Uh, YouTube is kind of harsh for some of the videos that we do. So uh, we really appreciate our patrons and how they support our channel. We couldn't do what we're doing here without our patrons. Uh, so thank you if you're a patron and consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash an American homestead. Again, like, subscribe, leave a comment. See you next time on the homestead. Hey, hey there. Thanks for watching our channel. If you're looking for great off-grid homesteading videos, this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button and be sure to like the video you just watched. You can also feel free to send us your questions by going to anamericanhomestead.com on our contact page and send me your question your question might get made into a video. In the meantime, check out some of these other great videos. Oh wait, go ahead and click them. Go ahead.